yes. there is one thing that the most, the biggest thing that people always that I find that I speak to that struggle with taking CBD is some come to me and say, oh yeah, I tried it, nothing happened. And I said, well, how, how much did you take? How long, did you, what was the strength? And oh, I did it for two days. I didn't like the taste. And it's like, eh, you know, and the other one is people always ask, well, well how long should I use it for? Mm -hmm. You know, well, so there are four basic pain types that I identified. Acute, yeah. which is people have accidents. You know, you get, you get rear-ended in a car or you fall on your skateboard and you have an accident, right? Yes. That's acute pain. It's short, you know, short-term, six, you know, six weeks, 12 weeks, you know, a couple of months, and then you're healed. Yeah. You've got chronic pain, which lasts years, and then you mm -hmm. have high impact chronic pain, which means it impacts all of your activities, meaning you're stuck in bed when the family's okay. out having fun. Yeah. Um, and then the fourth type is CRPS, which is chronic, chronic regional pain syndrome. Okay. They call that the burning limb syndrome. Hmm. And basically think of that as you have your baseball pitcher. He's been pitching, he's done his nine rounds, and he comes in. What does he do? He sits his elbow into a vat of ice, a three gallon jar of ice, right? Now let's flip that script. Now we're gonna fill it to the top with gas. We're gonna set it on fire. And then just at random, I'm gonna take one of your limbs and I'm gonna stick it in there. Oh. But you're gonna basically live with that for the rest of your life. You know, and, and uh -huh. it's a it's a bad, it's a bad condition. Yeah. So you have this scale of pain. The McGill pain scale goes from zero to 50. CRPS is about a 40 to a 50. Wow. A uh, uh, birth, giving birth is about a 30 to a 35. Okay. On the, on the McGill pain scale. So yeah. if you've had children, that kind of gives you yes. an idea.